everybody welcome back to another what's for dinner i have a few dean dinners for you guys i hope you all enjoy this week um don't forget that this is only um meals that i cook on the stovetop or in the oven y'all will see the meals that um, are crock pot meals y'all will see that friday so stay tuned for friday but for last week i started off the week with some homemade hamburger helper Homemade hamburger helper for us is definitely a go-to when either nothing sounds good or our pantry, you know, our pantry's getting low, but it's always an easy, um, and it's way better than the box stuff, but y'all know I still use the box stuff. No shame in my game. <laughs> I will bring that out if I need to, but if I always have the ingredients for homemade hamburger helper, I'll choose that over the box, and this is super good. I finally kind of figured out the recipe that, um, it's like really really good so I'm going to make a whole separate video um, on that for you guys and whenever I make that again So this night was actually a crock pot meal night, but I also cooked some fried potatoes on the side. So I thought I would throw that in there so y'all could see how I make my fried potatoes. Everybody does them different. I do them super simple. Um, just cut up the potatoes. I do the slices. I know a lot of people can do, you do like the cubes as well. Do whatever you would like, but I do seasoned salt. And that's normally my go-to as well. And then throughout cooking, if I feel like I need to add anything else, I will like onion or um, yeah, onion powder or garlic powder or um, anything like that. But you're just gonna have these in a medium to high heat skillet with a ton of butter. <laughs> um, that's definitely the first ingredient is butter. Um, but you're just gonna put a ton of butter in there, add your potatoes. And then you're just gonna stir them and let them cook until they're all the way done. Um, you can do them kind of, I guess, floppy is what I'm trying to say. Um, or you can do them a little crispy, which that's just higher heat and less movement. So that's definitely something that is up to you and how you um, end up frying them at that time. But here they are, they look so good. I kind of got in the middle of a couple were crispy and some were floppy, which is definitely perfect because I actually like them crispy and look like some floppy. <laughs> that sounds totally weird to say it that way. But this one along with a crock pot meal and y'all will see it Friday. This night we ended up eating out. We ate out at Hometown Pizza. If y'all have never heard of that or if it is in your town, go try it. I love it. Luke had never had it before and I'm so glad that um, he let me pick dinner that night so he was able to try Hometown Pizza. I definitely remember going there when I was a kid. And y'all, it is so stinking good. Their cheese sticks are on point and um, their pizza, oh my gosh. I got the um, chicken alfredo with bacon and spinach, oh my gosh. For this night, we had um, lasagna and then I made a stuffed shell kind of um, broccoli alfredo chicken. Um, normally, you know, we just do like the lasagna and the like garlic bread but for this night i added in um some chicken alfredo since mally was there but she actually ended up cooking ramen noodles which y'all will see in a little bit but i was totally fine because luke and i really enjoyed both we loved this quick and easy um alfredo and the lasagna so it was perfect for a yummy italian night and i will definitely be making this um, chicken alfredo again y'all it was so simple and I literally just threw it together I didn't have any recipe I just used stuff that I had already in the house y'all seen that I used the already cooked rotisserie chicken from the store and then I just pulled out some broccoli and cooked that up and then I'm just adding in whatever it is absolutely delicious 
Um, I did not, you could use like a jar Alfredo sauce if you wanted to for this to make it extra quick. Um, I just added in some cream cheese and some milk and then some Parmesan and mozzarella. That made a really quick and easy um, sauce to coat the noodles and the, the broccoli and the cheese. But like I said, I will definitely be making this again. It was delicious. Here is the lasagna all done. Y'all, this was so delicious. Um, Mike, our good friend, brought it over in a big foil pan, and I ended up dividing it into two meals. Y'all, this is, he makes the best lasagna. It is full of everything. Vegetables, there's mushrooms, there's cheese, there's noodles, there's sausage and hamburger meat. He goes all out. I call this his million dollar lasagna because it definitely tastes like a million bucks. But this was the last meal on this Dean Dinner video. I hope you all enjoyed it this week. It was simple, but y'all will have some more recipes coming Friday. So be on the lookout for that. But don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Please comment down below. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.